Welcome back to Zuko Builds. A while ago, I posted a video on how I make my castle joints and I was using a tenoning slash castle joint jig. And somebody asked me in the comments how I made that jig. I'm working on another huge conference table. If you guys haven't watched uh, my, it's probably a few weeks ago now, a huge conference table build. I'm literally replicating that for the same studios. They wanted a second one. So I've been really slammed with that. So I figured this was the perfect time to show you guys how I made that jig. It's a simple tenoning jig. I made this in maybe 30 minutes, but it's great for cutting out tenons in your work pieces and castle joints. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I make mine. So for this build, I'm just gonna be using three quarter inch birch ply. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the measurement of the width of your fence. Um, I'm just gonna leave measurements out of this because I'm sure most brands and different models uh, vary. So you'll measure the width and I'll cut that out first. That way I can take the height of the fence itself plus the three quarter inch material on top um, to make sure that it's exact. So I'll go ahead and start by cutting the width out and then I'll go ahead and measure from the table to the top of my plywood that's on top of the fence and then cut the other two pieces for that. All right, so I have my width and my height cut out already. These are quite a bit long. Um, I think they're about 22 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this piece up into 10, two 10 inch pieces. And for the width, I'll just make one 10 inch piece. Um, and then I'll show you how to assemble these. I'm just gonna cut these on the miter saw, so nothing crazy. All right, I cut everything down to 10 inches now. All I'm gonna do is place the smaller piece on the top like such and then the two side pieces will make a sandwich out of it or a hot dog is a hot dog a sandwich you see here everything is nice and flush um, all i'm gonna do is put some glue on both of these here making sure that it's square to the table this is more important um, that you make sure it's square on the cut side so that's nice and square there i'll go ahead and once i have the glue in place i'll go ahead and put some clamps just around here pop a few pins in it and it should be ready to go you don't want any wobble side to side you still want it to be snug but not too snug where it doesn't slide freely but you don't want any sort of slop in it. Um, so it should be nice and snug, but still able to, to slide freely. So I'll go ahead and add some glue, some clamps, and pop a few pins in there. All right, this is looking good. It's all glued up. I added some brad nails. I don't know why I was saying pins earlier, but popped a few brad nails in there. It's sliding nicely. There's no slop left or right. Um, so next we just have to add the face here, another scrap piece of plywood, and that's what you're actually going to clamp your work pieces to. I went ahead and cut it out already. Cut it the same uh, length as this here, so 10 inches. And just to make it easy, I made it 10 by 10. You can see here it fits nicely like that. And this will, this will give us plenty of space to, uh, to clamp a little bit of a taller piece to the, to the jig. Um, so all I'll do is go ahead and mark it on the back side of where this ends. That way I can just add glue all over this face and then just pop a few brad nails in.
All right, so this jig is ready to go. It's a castle jig slash tenoning jig. And since I already showed you guys how to make the castle joints with this, I'll go ahead and just make a tenon out of this scrap two by two here. You can see I already marked it out. I'll be cutting off these edges here um, and then leaving a one inch chunk in the middle, AKA your tenon. So all you'll wanna do is, I like to just clamp it to the back of the jig. And since I know that this is nice and square, as long as this is pressed up nicely against it, I know that my cut will be square. And I'll go ahead and line it up with one of the shoulders, one of the marks here. And I should be able to make one cut, flip the two by two piece around, cut the other side, and then just hog out the rest of the material on the shoulders. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and cut this out for you guys. And just like that guys, that took me maybe 35, 40 seconds to completely cut this out. Let's just say a minute, I don't wanna brag. <laughs> um, but literally super fast, super easy. Once you get it clamped into place and make your first cuts, it's all about just keeping the fence loose and I just move it little by little to cut out the rest of the material. So this is great, it's a tenoning jig, but I also used it for castle joints. It's the same process, um, except you're hogging out the material in the middle for a castle joint. But quick, easy build. It took me maybe 30 minutes to do this while shooting, so you guys can do it, and it comes in handy. There you have it, you beautiful people. Super quick and easy jig to make that comes in handy so much. Um, it is a tenoning jig, but I do use it to cut castle joints. Tenons are super easy to cut by hand, um, but if you have a deadline or if you need to batch a lot of things out, this jig comes in handy, makes it super easy. Like I said, I did that in seconds, um, and it's very easy to make repeatable cuts because uh, you have your fence and you just clamp it in place and it makes everything so much more of a breeze to do. Um, so to the person who commented asking who make the the jig for you hopefully this helps you out and i see some cool castle joints that you're making um yeah i didn't show you guys the castle joint or cutting out the castle joint because i already posted a video i'll leave a link right here um so go check that out if that's something you want to watch as well uh, but thank you for watching hope you guys liked it if you did hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're not already check me out on instagram at zuko builds and i'll catch you guys in a couple of weeks